In this video, I'll teach you how to make ChatGPT talk with a human voice like this. I don't want to call you Emily or ChatGPT. Your name is Josh and my name is Dex. Understood, Dex. You can call me Josh and I'll address you as Dex. If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to ask. Sounds fun? Then stay tuned. Dex Tech Pro. What's up guys, this is Dex and you're watching Dex Tech Pro. Let's cut to the chase and start to Google Talk to ChatGPT. Scroll down and click on Talk to ChatGPT Chrome extension. Click on Add to Chrome to install it. Then click on the three dots or menu, Extensions, Manage Extensions and make sure that it's activated by toggling this switch on or off. Open ChatGPT to ensure that you're logged in. As you can see here, Talk to ChatGPT Chrome extension is automatically detected by ChatGPT where it appears at the top and ready to be used. Click on Start to begin. Now ChatGPT is able to listen and talk to you guys. So from now on, you don't need to type any words to interact with it. But here is the thing. Since the available voices of Talk to ChatGPT don't sound human, I'm going to teach you how to make it sound more human by using some great voices within it. To do this trick, you simply go to 11labs.io website. Scroll down and click on the Get Started Free button. Then sign up for a new account with your Gmail address and sign in back to begin. Actually, it's a piece of cake, guys. So I'm not gonna get through registration stuff to save the time for you, okay? Click on this circular icon to see the options. Click on Profile. Then click on the Visibility icon to reveal the API key. Select your API key, right click and make a copy. Get back to ChatGPT. Click on the Options button and check the Use 11 Labs API for Text to Speech button. Paste the API key that you have already copied into the API key box to activate human voices and eventually save it. Go to Options again to choose a voice. For example, I'll go for Emily's voice. Click on Save. Now let's talk to ChatGPT with Emily's voice. My name is Dix and I'm going to call you Emily from now on. Sure, you can call me Emily if you prefer. How can I assist you today? I feel lucky today. That's great to hear. Feeling lucky can bring a positive outlook and attitude to your day. Is there something specific you're feeling lucky about or something you'd like to talk or ask about. No, I was just testing you. So I want to ask you this question. Do you still remember your name? What did I name you? You didn't actually name me. My default name is ChatGPT, but you can call me whatever you like. I don't have a personal identity, so you can refer to me as Emily or any other name you prefer during our conversation. If you have any questions or need assistance with something, feel free to ask. Sounds fun, right? Let's try a male voice this time by going to options again and choose Josh instead. Cause I kinda like this voice. Click save and I'm done. Now let's talk to Josh. So let me ask you a question again. What is your name? My default name is ChatGPT, but you can call me Josh, Emily or any other name you prefer. How can I assist you today? I don't want to call you Emily or ChatGPT. Your name is Josh and my name is Dex. Understood, Dex. You can call me Josh and I'll address you as Dex. If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to ask. Actually, I don't have any question. The reason why I am just asking you these questions it's because I am making a video for my YouTube channel. That's perfectly fine. If you're making a YouTube video and have any specific topics or questions you'd like to discuss or include in your video, feel free to let me know, and I can provide information or assistance related to those topics. Good luck with your YouTube video. Thank you so much, Josh. Do you have any questions for me? You're welcome. I don't have any specific questions at the moment. But if there's anything you'd like to share or discuss, feel free to let me know. I'm here to assist and have a conversation with you. 
to say goodbye to my DexTech Pro audiences right now. Goodbye to the audiences of DexTech Pro. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any more questions or want to see more from DexTech Pro, be sure to subscribe and stay connected. Have a great day. Alrighty guys, that's all I guess. Please leave me comments and don't forget what Josh told you about Dextech Pro channel subscription. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. Channel.